Hi everyone, Rainy here, and today I'm going to be putting the floor panels, or the bottom panels, on the Panga. And this is a job that works a lot best, a lot better if you have two or more people doing it. But I figured out a way that I'm hoping is going to work for one. What I did here is I already pre-screwed things, so I have a screw in here and a screw on the other side. And they're just sitting in the holes right now, and I'm going to try to glue underneath while they're sitting there. Which I have to move because the screws are bending as we speak. And the idea is once I get it glued, I can just lower it down, and it'll stay right in place. So, let's see if that works. So like I mentioned, I put two screws in the bottom panel. They're sitting in the hole, and I put the other end of the piece of wood up in the ear and I have it braced there with a piece of wood inside the boat as you can see going to the ground and holding it up kind of like uh, the cover of a piano or the top top of a piano and now it's time to glue so I'm using the glue is the PL Premium 3X I've been using this right along for most of the frame and putting in the wood on uh, it's done a very good job. You'll see in one of my previous videos that I did a test with this stuff and actually I glued a few pieces of wood together, two by fours and plywood and tried to separate them and the wood tore apart before the glue came apart. So the stuff is, as we see up here in Maine, wicked strong. <laughs> So now, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I spread the, I put the glue out. Now I've got to spread it. This is the funnest part. Now, folks, don't do like I'm doing here. Make sure you wear gloves, because right now, as I'm speaking to you later on, I'm sitting here at my computer, doing the audio and tearing glue off my fingers. Uh, so I will have to get some acetone later and get that glue off. So gloves are very important. So I'm just spreading the glue and trying not to make too much of a mess. If you over glue or it kind of you know, slides down in the cracks there, be sure to pick it up because when you flip it over, you're going to have to take it off. And it's uh, not really that easy to take off. I've been using a razor blade, but if you try to sand it off, it gets gummed up in your sander and everything. So you want to try to just use what you need. So there I am gluing and gluing and gluing. It's kind of uh, relaxing, I guess you could say. Now, the only thing I would tell you to do different than what I'm doing is the part that you see me doing right now, I would glue that first. And maybe the ones uh, going perpendicular there, you know, the frames. But I wouldn't glue along the edge closest to me until you've done that. Because as you can see when I'm reaching down there, the bottom of my arm occasionally touches the other glue. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't my good sweater. Uh, but in the summertime, I've ruined a lot of t-shirts this way. So you want to make sure you are, are careful with the spreading of the glue. And oops, got to move that piece there because it's going to get glue on it. And if that piece looks familiar, that's actually a part of the uh, scarfing jig that I made in an earlier video also showing you how to scarf the 1x3 uh, longitudinals there. And uh, so I have to get all the glue off so I don't ruin that. So I've just about spread out all the glue. Just about and taking the glue off me. <laughs> See my arm right there? It's in the glue again. <laughs> so spread that all out. And now this glue came out a lot easier. I actually put the heater on it before I went down there because it was like 30 degrees in the garage. So before I went down, I had my little space heater aiming at all the glues. And uh, so they actually got warm and they just oozed right out nice and easy. Before I did that, another time I was using the glue and gosh, I was taking both hands to get it out and it was so solid. So go ahead and make sure that glue is heated up just like epoxy before you use it. And I probably should have lift the, lifted this up a little higher to get in there. But if I did, I think those screws might have fallen out. So there we go. I just have to finish spreading that and we're just about done.
fill in, filling in all the voids right now. And now I got to put this down where it's not going to stick to something or I don't end up sitting on it or something because it's amazing where you find glue. And now, drum roll please. <laughs> and I let it down. And you see how slick that is? The screw is still in the hole, so I'm just going to screw it in the rest of the way. And this screw over here is in the hole, screw it in the rest of the way again. And then it's time to put in all the rest of the screws. So I'll go ahead and do that. And let you listen to the beautiful drill music without me speaking. looking good. I'm just going to put a few more screws in it make sure there's no voids. And that's how I got this side done and I'm going to do the same for the other side as well. I'll, I'll show you how it looks when that's done. Well I just finished the other side so here's a quick walk around to show you how it looks. As you can see the edges are still rough because that's just done by the router and I haven't had a chance to sand it yet. But I'm going to sand that nice and flush with the sides and round out the edge so it'll take the fiberglass uh, cloth really well. And coming around to the other side, you can see, looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Okay, now that I got the back part of the floor done, I'm going to finish up here on the sides. I still have this panel to put on right here. So what I already did is, I have, this is a butt block that I put, it's already connected to this side and glued. You can see I took the screws out already. So all I need to do is glue the rest of this and glue the butt block. I put a screw here which lines up with this hole already. So it'll fit right in place where it's supposed to fit. And glue it and screw it. And then I still have, as you can see, the other side to do as well. Let me get going on those right now.
Putting in a lot more screws over here because it's actually bending the wood and I want the curve to be true and I don't want it to rip up like it is right here on the board. I mean if it's lipping a little bit it's not going to be bad but if it's lipping a lot it's going to show. These are all going to come out anyway. Oops. I think that looks pretty golden. Set it down here. Okay. good that's looking good haha <laughs> <laughs> So all I have to do is the same thing to the other side. When I've done that, I'll get back to you and show it. See you in a moment. Well, I got the front finished. This is the one you saw me do. And I actually was able to slip this underneath. Didn't even have to cut it for right now. But when it dries, I'm going to cut, cut it even and round it over with some... Uh, resin epoxy resin which is the same thing that I'm going to do in that crack going down the bottom of the floor the hull whatever we call it <laughs> so uh, but that's going to be for a while what I'm going to do is let this dry overnight and then take out all the screws and probably cut it down and trim it down then I got to work on this front part over here and the front part I'm going to make with a bunch of strips kind of going this way and that way it's a half inch floor so I got quarter inch cutting the strips that I'm gonna overlay to get the curve I might try to put a little bit more of the half inch coming forward so I don't have to do the whole thing but the curve is getting pretty strong for a half inch planking so I'm gonna have to wait and see so there we go she's coming together the sides are done they're finally glued and screwed okay when I showed it to you in the previous video they were just cut out and put on 
and the bottom same thing was just cut out now it's glued and screwed and tomorrow it'll just be glued because I'm taking all the screws out and filling them in filling in the holes with resin uh, it's great because I don't have to buy any more screws I just keep on reusing them <laughs> So, thanks for watching my progress. I really appreciate having you folks here. Gives me somebody to talk to in this lonely, small garage. <laughs> and share what I'm doing. Because I know you appreciate the work. With that, have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.